Hey everyone, Achiki here again, and I am back with another DCUO base tour. Uh, today, we are going through Infernal Descent, and our tour guide will be Illyria here. <laughs> she is my nature character here on the game. She is a feral, wild child sort of uh, archetype, and uh, yeah, she'll be taking us through a slow descent into madness. <laughs> Um, the theming kind of has, like, a Seven Deadly Sins vibe, um, and, uh, it was based off of, also, this TV show I watched as a kid around Halloween called Scariest Places on Earth, and there was a video of an explorer getting lost in the catacombs, so, um, yeah, that's kind of where this idea originated and kind of grew from, so I don't want to say any more, but, uh, yeah, let's get into it here. And, <laughs> like most of my bases, we find ourselves in a cityscape, <laughs> first and foremost. So, um, we have a liquor store here. And over here we have some live shows from a burlesque house, courtesy of Madame Stacy. Complete with a, a window here. Next, we have Ocean's Pizza. Uh, we got a delivery window for the driver. And then just for foot traffic here. And if we peek in, we can see a pizza oven. As well as a kitchen. And then there's the delivery door. We also have a casino here. Kids play till you win, which uh, seems pretty problematic, but that's kind of the theming for the base. Um, Vice is leading to uh, a not so happy outcome if you know you get too entangled with them. Black Canary's playing tonight, apparently, at the casino. That's pretty cool. Uh, hotel here. Um, right before we go into the alleyways behind uh, some of the shops here, when things start to get a little, uh, a little hairy, especially with our furry friends here, our pizza rats. <laughs> um, see some of the, uh, Criminal factions are trying to mark this, um, I don't know, like a drainage ditch, I guess it'd be, basically. So as we go in here, we see that there has been, uh, some sort of illicit activities going on here by some faction, who I'm not quite sure. But even they got ran out, because as we go deeper into the sewer system now, we see that there is some very unsightly overgrowth, to put it lightly. I'm sure Poison Ivy would be very proud. <laughs> However, we're nature ourselves, so we can brave the plant life, hopefully. And as we get further in, we see we are in a water treatment portion of the sewer, which has been utterly polluted by some not-so-great dumping of chemicals here. So again, kind of on the same, like, theme of, of the... The deadly sins, like greed and corruption sort of thing, leading to the water supply being utterly tainted. So we'll continue on our walkway here. 
wanted this to be sort of like have a suspended walkway feel to it. Um, I was trying to put like some drop cables down, but they didn't quite reach from the ceiling all the way up that high. Just like how it turned out. So, all right, we got through the overgrowth, and as we go further, we realize that it has unearthed another section of the sewers here. Some forgotten catacombs. Which, as we round the corner here, we realize maybe they're not so forgotten. Seems to be in some kind of use here. Or whoever was here, um, was here pretty recently. <laughs> the candles are still lit. What they were up to, however... Um, yeah, I'd rather not think about that. But they did leave the door open, and we're already this far in, so we might as well go deeper. And this is where you know you're kind of in trouble because when the rats are running away from uh, the situation, that's the that's a pretty big red flag. But yet we continue on through this narrow corridor filled with horrifying windows of unspeakable acts. Oh, that poor guy. as we continue on, we walk on the piles of bone, through the wailing walls of madness. Oh, these walls are so visceral, I could almost hear them screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, we make it to the final, the final portion of the tour. The full descent into madness. Here we go. We find ourselves in a hellish landscape. I love these lava streams. This space is really heavy with shadows because I used a lot of ceiling items and I know they block out some of the light, but I wanted it to be like really immersive, so. Hmm. Oh, I know, buddy, this is, this is pretty terrible. Lots of existential, well, I guess it's not existential anymore, just literal dread. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. So now we come to the last section of our tour. The Torment Chamber. Where we got all the, all the, the classic hits. We got the guillotine. Got a bed of coal here. The Iron Maidens, of course. And a rack for, you know, deep-seated stretching. Got our pendulum table. Even in hell, though, they don't want to be too messy, so they got something to collect all the goodies underneath. And then we have our prison here. For those awaiting... Tormentor. We got our wall of goodies here. A couple of voyeurs watching, you know, the festivities that go down. 
but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That is Infernal Descent. Um, yeah. Um, if you didn't catch the theming, like, so most of the stories up top were, like, based off of, like, deadly sins. So, like, lust and greed and uh, gluttony, uh, sloth, those sort of things. Uh, well, sloth's kind of reaching. I kind of did the hotel and everything, but, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, is there any other, like, themes you want to see me try out? Um, leave them in the comments down below. Um, I actually showed this base during the charity live stream for Extra Life, too, so that might be why it's a little familiar if you guys tuned into that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to upload it on YouTube, finally. I'm pretty pretty proud of this one <laughs> i enjoyed i enjoyed making it a lot so uh yeah new videos every wednesday or i'm gonna try and do them every wednesday um so subscribe if you want to see more or come back around that time um yeah thanks again for watching and i hope you guys have a good one see you in the next one take care